Hey folks, Sean Kimbrough with SB Light Tackle. Thought we'd talk today a little bit about tandem rigs for white perch, yellow perch, crappy, whatever you got. All it is, just two lures tied on one line, and let me show you how we do it. So the first thing we're going to do is just take our line and run it right through the jig head. Now we're perch fishing today, so I've got a little 16th ounce jig head here. So I'm just going to put the first one on and just run it right down the line, let it swing free, and attach this... Uh, one that's going to be on the end of my line here with a clinch knot, pull it tight. Now you see my other one is just swinging freely on the line. So now I'm just going to reach up here and grab it and then just tie a dropper loop. And all that is is just wrap it around just like tying your shoe about three times. Nothing to it. Two, three. And pull that tight. That makes just a nice little loop there for your lure to swing in. There's your other one tied on the bottom, and that's your tandem rig. Now all we got to do is put something on there the fish might like. I like these Bustin' Bait Stingers. That's a local lure here in Maryland. Uh, you can order them on the internet. Bustin' Baits is what it's called, and I just like to thread them on there make sure they're straight. Once they're hanging straight, you're good to go. Now I'm going to try something different on the uh, other lure. Since you never know what the fish are going to bite, I'm going to give them two choices. Now let's go fishing. And my buddy Phil Kirchner here, we're fishing over on the eastern shore of Maryland Creek today. Got a little white perch run going. Let's see how it goes. You know, when I've got the fish zeroed in, I'm more likely to use a float and fly because you can really concentrate in one spot. But if you're not sure exactly where the fish are, tandem rig is very beneficial because it's more of a search bait. You can cast it for long distances, you can fan cast, you can put your lure wherever you want to. Also, uh, another advantage is that you can switch those lures up a little bit. You can hone in on what the fish like. If you see they're hitting one color better than another, uh, go to all that color maybe or uh, one bait better than the other. Also you can change your weights up, maybe put a 32nd on the bottom and a 16th on the top uh, or uh, you know even go to heavier weights if you need to. Mm -hmm. I used to experiment to see what you can come up with. So here's a variation on the tandem rig. This is just a shad dart and a spoon, a little tiny spoon and a 16th ounce dart. We've got a shad run going on the same creek that we were on yesterday catching white perch. Uh, so we're going to target them uh, with uh, lures more specifically designed for shad. So I like to put the spoon on the bottom uh, because it really swings around erratically below that heavier shad dart. And this is a 16th ounce shad dart. Uh, and I'm just going to tie my dropper loop up here, go around three times and pull it tight. And uh, it makes my nice little loop for it to swing in there. Uh, kind of gives it some extra action. There's my spoon. Put them about a foot and a half apart, maybe two feet, not too much. Shad. Shad? Yep. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. Man, that's worth a trip right there. There you go. <laughs> Hickory shad. Got it again. There you go. There's a lot of ways to tie a tandem rig and a lot of lure combinations you can use. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, just uh, a very effective rig, especially in the springtime when we've got perch and shad crappy around. Good luck fishing.